Uh, hello and welcome to the I Am channel. My name is Brian Mustafa. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. And in today's session, I just want to talk about how to succeed in KDP for 2021. I previously did a video about how to succeed in KDP for 2021 as part one. This is a follow uh, up video of this. And this is, I'm just going to outline some of the strategies that you can use to win in KDP going forward to 2021. A lot of people have asked me questions about they're not making money with KDP no content publishing, even though they have books like up to 100 or 200 books. And some of them have been negative, very negative, and um, trying to downgrade KDP. So I feel like I need to do another video to share with you some of the strategies I use, which you can use. And to me, uh, once we get into that, you'll be able to see some of the things that you can do to succeed. So if you are new to this channel, please just type, uh, click yes to this channel and um, say subscribe and subscribe to this. You can just click, if you don't want to be subscribed, just like this video so that more people and share this to uh, all the people who are watching. And I want to especially thank all the people in Morocco all the people who are viewing, my top fans are in Morocco. If you are in Morocco, shout outs to you. Thank you. If you are in Morocco, just type in the title in the description below Morocco. And uh, you've been supporting me a lot. All my online courses, all the people I'm doing uh, coaching are in Morocco. And all the people that I help are in Morocco. My top viewers are in Morocco. Thank you for that. So let's go straight to number one. How, what do you need to do to succeed? So first thing you need to do is to succeed is what? You need to treat KDP as a business. And uh, many people just come in and they feel like they will just come and publish two or three books and go away and expect to make returns. No, you are not going to make money like that. If you don't have patience, please, KDP is not for you. There are other things that you can easily uh, like make money quick, which is affiliate marketing, like marketing uh, links, promoting links, other things that you may make, like you can start making money today or that, but it's not KDP, please. So you need to treat it as a business. And how do you treat something like a business? You need to start, you nurture it. You need to uh, work on one or two things. You need to give it a long-term plan. It's a long-term plan. So that's what makes it a business, a long-term big plan with some basic ingredients you need to keep adding and keep adding until the business become profitable and successful. Notwithstanding that you can publish a book today, it gets reviewed within a week or two days and you start making sales. But that is like very rare. I've had books that have been sold the next day, like published today, the next day like two copies, next three days, two or three, but it's very rare. So you need to treat this as a business. So if you want to succeed, you need to make it a business. So business simply means you need to invest more into it to be able to succeed. And you need to think long plan, long term. So that if you publish like 10 or 20 books and you're not making money, you don't try to call everybody a scam who is into KDP. Then the second thing you need to do is that you need to retrain your brain. It's the mindset, right? Some people have failed in other businesses or they fail in their lives. So they don't know what to do. And they feel like KDP is a smart place that they can easily make money. No, you're not going to get it that easy. If you fail in other businesses and you want to bring that failure to KDP, definitely you're going to fail. So I've been asked questions like people have been doubting KDP, people have been negative. I say, tell them that yes, I'm into KDP also. I publish books and I do videos. And I believe in consistency. I believe in training my mind. So that if I make sales within one month, I'm good with that. If I don't make sales in the next two or three months, I'm still going to stick with the plan and work on the plan. So you need to retrain your mind, retrain your brain to be consistent. Your mindset is what uh, you need to work on. 
Some people are too negative that they go on from post to post. I've seen people on uh, stacking for profit or Mr. Rose's post or even by Paul Marks, and they've been negative. All the posts, the, the questions they ask are negative questions, right? So it tells you that they are negative and they can't make it. They ask questions like, when am I going to start making money? How am I going to, how can I make every month? How many books will I publish? These are all negative questions. Work on your plan. Put in a plan and work towards that plan. So if you're not working on your mind, please forget. So the time you use to ask questions, negative questions, you talk to people, you're asking unnecessary questions, I use all those times to put in the work. I don't, I don't mind whether the industry or coloring books or notebooks or logbooks is saturated. I just make sure that I also have books in that category. And that's my first plan. I don't look at saturation or competition first. I put in as much as uh, much content. And once I put in much content, I make sure that my keywords are up to tax. If the number one person, the competition, the first page, I pick all their keywords and I put them in my book. And I make sure my book also ranks there. And that's the consistency. And you need, you, you can do outside marketing and I'm gonna teach you how to do one or two marketing. So your mind is very important when it comes to KDP publishing. You need to retrain your mind and stop asking all the unnecessary questions and start putting all the energy into work. Put all the energy into work. The third one, third strategy you can use to succeed in 2021 is that you need to publish in different niches. Yes, you need to publish in different niches. If I'm publishing in one niche, I've realized that maybe you can, you can still publish in one niche and make it successful, but it's good if you have like different books in different niches. So if you have only log books and they are making two or three sales, why can't you have coloring books to make seven or five sales and add to your sales? And you do great books, health niches, they are different niches. So if you watch this video, all my videos have been talking about niches because I've seen that a lot of people are concentrated on publishing in one or two niches and they just leave the rest. So that's why I've been, I've invested in doing researches, giving you all the niches. And as I give you all the niches, there are simply interiors that you can design to start publishing in those niches to make a difference. So publish in different niches, as many as you can, different niches, do your researches and publish in many niches. Then learn to market your books for free. And you need to, so there are two aspects to this. One is that you need to learn to market your books for free. And you need to learn to also market your books with like traffic, uh, uh, Amazon ads. So you can do it both actually. But to me, when I started, I started putting the research, uh, strategies and I told myself that I don't do ads. I don't do ads, like I don't do ads. I just do organic marketing. The only time I do ads, I'm, 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 uh, Amazon ads on my books is when we are approaching Q4. So I start doing November and December. So I'm, all my ads are in November and December, paid ads are in November and December. But the rest, I market it. I use uh, Pinterest, I use Facebook, and I use uh, different strategies like uh, medium to do like articles to write and this. And that's why I'm telling you that it's a long-term plan. So when you see people rant, uh, the competition, you feel like it's competitive, I'm putting in strategies where people can find them on Pinterest, they can find them on websites, or you can find them on social media. Your books are not even there and you are complaining. So learn to market your books for free. If you want me to do a free, uh, how to market your books on Amazon for free, please just put it put in the, uh, just type in the description below free and I'll do a, a video about that. If you also have questions, please ask me and I'll do videos about that and I'll reply to some of the questions that you have. So please feel free to interact, put in all your questions, but let them be positive questions. Then I'll get back to you and I'll do videos about that. And the uh, number five is take advantage of holiday seasons. I've talked about that. 
uh, in my previous uh, videos, but you need to just take advantage of the holiday seasons. A lot of holidays, and you may not be making sales. And the system is such a way that in July, in June, you don't make much sales. Like like uh, August, I didn't make much sales. I make like close to hundred dollars, right? But because I don't do ads, I just do natural ads, organic ads. So, but the difference is that you make more sales when it comes to December, November and December. From October, November, December, you're going to make a lot of sales because we have Halloween, the uh, holidays, and we have Christmas, which is Q4. So you need to take advantage of holidays. And once you take advantage of holidays like Easter, uh, like Father's Day, and I sell a lot of books on Father's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, Christmas, all those things. So you can do that. And the next thing you need to talk about is scale and expand your publishing business. Scale and expand your publishing business. If you are buying interiors from Creative Fabrica or uh, my shop, which is Gumroad, my shop, my uh, interiors, you may not be able to expand that in a way. But if you are creating your own interiors using Word, using Microsoft PowerPoint, or using Canva, you can scale and expand your publishing business. And how do you do that? You can sell your interiors on Creative Fabrica. You can sell your interiors on Etsy. You can sell your interiors on your own Gumroad store. So you can create a store or even your own website, develop a website whereby you can just uh, upload the interiors you've designed and you've published them on KDP, expand them to your websites and start selling them on your website. You can also expand that by even doing uh, interiors for other people on Fiverr. So you can, if you know how to do interiors, you can list the services on Fiverr and start creating interiors for people. So you need to expand your business. And once you're expanding, you can add a bit of like uh, uh, affiliate marketing to your business, whereby you have even links on your uh, description of some of the things you publish. So maybe if you are selling on Gumroad, I have all my, my descriptions, my affiliate marketing descriptions in my books, some of my books. So with that, when someone clicks on them and they buy the interiors, I'm gonna make a commission out of it. So you see that you are making money from multiple sources and it's gonna keep you moving. So if you're watching the description of this video, you actually see Creative Fabrica uh, link which is, a, which is an affiliate link for, my, for me. And I've made a lot of money from that affiliate link because people watch my videos and they keep on clicking and I'm making extra money from that. When you go to my Google store and I, you buy my book on the terms and conditions, you are going to see my affiliate links in them. So you can still, I can, I'm still making money whilst I'm publishing and selling these books on Amazon. So you can also do that. If I can do it, you can also do it. I don't have any graphic skills, design skills, but I'm doing all my interiors. So you can also do that. Then you need to, so that's just what I have for you. You need to scan the scale and expand your publishing business. And you need to invest in yourself. You need to invest in your mind. So I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. I'm going to do a next video. If this was helpful, please smash this uh, subscription button just and like this video share it to your friends if you are in morocco especially share it to more people in morocco in your facebook group, uh, facebook groups uh, different groups just share it to your people so that i'll get more marketing in morocco thank you to all moroccans and thank you to all my fans my name still remains ibrahim mustafa and i believe in you and i believe in the power of your dreams if you have questions put them in the description below uh, the comment section and i'm going to answer them and just type in yes free and you can also go to my store on Gumroad and get more interiors and also creative fabric which is a affiliate link in the description go and buy all your beautiful interiors thank you i believe in you and i believe in the power of your dreams